Governor Bobby Jindal has issued warnings for people who live near the Morganza and the Bonacary spillway, telling them to make preparations to evacuate if floodgates are opened. Jindal says the Mississippi River rose to dangerous levels in several areas and 14 parishes are under a state of emergency. A crest is predicted May 23rd, but it's not exactly going to recede quickly, which the governor says will put more pressure on the levees. When it comes to the Morganza spillway, Louisiana's Agriculture Forestry Commissioner says since water would go over the structure anyway, the damage would be considered as having resulted from a natural occurrence. That means it would be covered by federal crop insurance. And the governor is deploying about 150 members of the National Guard to help respond to the impending floods, and some of them are from the 528th here in Monroe. Elements of the National Guard will be on duty, augmenting local and state efforts to prepare for flooding along the Big River. Monroe's 528th engineers will take a lead role in the mission. Captain Joshua Culp tells us how equipment is being moved in the place. In addition to the equipment, the Guard has manpower on the way to the Delta. 64 soldiers from the 528th are there to assist in flood control efforts. We'll have more on the Guard's mission along the Mississippi during the 6 o'clock report. As Mississippi floodwaters rise, the local Red Cross is preparing to help. The Red Cross is working closely with the National Guard, State Police, and the Governor's Office of Homeland Security to ensure citizen safety. Director Ann Patton says she's been on conference calls with leaders from all over the state today, and they're ready to open shelters as needed. In our area, shelters at East Carroll, Madison, and Tinsall parishes would open first. The Governor stresses that this problem won't go away overnight. In Mississippi, Governor Haley Barber's flood task force leaders are giving an update on preparations there. The Delta Council meeting was held earlier today at the Delta State University campus in Cleveland. The governor has already warned this week of a monumental flood and is urging people in the threatened areas to make sure that they make evacuation plans. President Obama has declared 11 Mississippi counties along the river to be disaster areas. But Governor Barber wants the federal declaration to extend to inland counties since he says they too face a threat. People have already spent the last several days evacuating the Mississippi Delta. Until today, it hadn't been decided whether Monroe City Councilman Robert Red Stevens would take the stand in his own defense, but he took the stand today. He admitted to the jury that he never reported the money given to him by Eddie Hakem in 2008 or 2009 during the campaign finance reports, but he didn't know how to report cash donations. KNOE Samantha Boatman reports. Students from Louisiana Tech have been working hard to help the school go green by building solar panels that will be used by the school. Jason Garcia is the owner of Solar Energy Supply in West Monroe, and he's interested in manufacturing his own sun-powered products to make homes and businesses more environmentally friendly. Well, the work was too much for Garcia to do on his own, so he reached out to the department head at Louisiana Tech to see if students there could help benefit and maybe help him with his project. One student says the project has been challenging, but it has definitely put their skills to the test. If the students successfully build the panels, of course, it'll be a great resume builder, and they'll also get a passing grade for that engineering course. Some encouraging news as we head into the weekend. The statewide average for a gallon of regular gasoline is down one cent from yesterday. It doesn't sound like much, but it's always better to see the price go down instead of up. The state average this evening is three eighty a gallon. And still, though, it's about 15 cents below the national average. One financial analyst says that continued worries about U.S. economic growth seems to have driven crude oil prices dramatically lower. He says that we could see the prices drop by as much as 20 cents by Memorial Memorial Day weekend. That brings us to tonight's KNOE.com web poll question. Do you believe that gas prices will drop? Just go to KNOE.com and tell us what you think. We'll have the results for you tonight at 6 o'clock and 10.